I've ruled lots of us are trying to reduce our carbon footprint and there's four or five main things you can do. You can look at your transport and I've got an electric car and our electricity here in the northeast is uh, remarkably clean from wind, from nuclear and from imported Norwegian hydroelectricity. Um, but you could also reduce your uh, intake of red meat, uh, of dairy, of cheese, um, and even other meats, or go vegan if you really want to uh, push it as far as you can. Um, you can reduce the stuff that you buy. Um, so a lot of your purchases will have a carbon cost and you can stop buying unneeded stuff or going through your clothes quite as quickly, etc. Thirdly, you can um, make sure you're buying clean electricity. Uh, so making sure you've got a green tariff for your provider or you can get solar panels, etc. Generate your own. If your roof isn't suitable, you can even look up Ripple Energy. Um, but heating your home is going to be a huge part of your carbon footprint. So what I'm showcasing here is a smart air brick. And if you looked really closely, you can see the brand, which is Airex. So I've got a, an old Victorian house with a suspended wooden floor, meaning that this air brick here is connected to the void under my floor, which is a wooden uh, uh, floorboards held up by a joist with a wooden flooring on top. There is a tiny bit of insulation, but I think it's really thin. Um, so what this is for is because I've got single skip skin brick, it's going to let moisture into that void. And so these air bricks are to uh, get cross ventilation to blow that moisture away because there's no cavity to try and keep it out. But that means the house floor is freezing, especially in the winter, especially with us when there's more and more wind. Um, so that makes uh, this for, for, for you know a very cold house, uh, for higher heating bills, lower comfort, very cold toes. So what can you do? Well, what this technology does is it senses when it's moist in there and opens up and allows that ventilation to get rid of the water. Uh, but if your heating's on and it's very dry and not humid in there, then they will close and try and retain that heat as best they can. Um, and so here is Eric's website. They um, say that you will more likely to have a warmer home, you're going to have increased comfort, and you are going to lower your energy bills. And they're quoting a 10 to 15% chance of lowering your energy bills. And what do they say over here? Well, they th think that it's going to improve air quality as well and mitigate the risk of t uh, condensation, timber, or mold. So um, I guess that's them sensing that it's moist and that you need the airflow. Um, so that, that should help too. And they have an FAQ here. Um, so should you get it in your home? Well, you can reduce your heating bills by a bit. Uh, and as, as your bills are very expensive, that might be quite a lot. Um, and how many do you need? Is it suitable for own houses? I'll let you read this on your own by going to their website. Um, let's show you all that, etc. Um, so click on these and have a look. Um, they do have a battery and they're not wired in because that would be a pain in the butt. You need an electrician, expensive, so they've got a 7, 10 year battery that's in them and you can easily pop off the front plastic and change the battery yourself, so not a problem. Is there a warranty? Yes there is. Um, so check that out, see what you think. Hopefully it's going to lower my heating bills.